Good evening, I'm Scott Schaefer. Tonight on Newswatch 16 at 11 after college football, a late night of shopping in one community. It's the start of the holidays here and the harrowing violence at the bus stop after the game. This is WNEP, the news station. Five teams from Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania vying for spots in the various state championship games. We have the full roundup from a huge night on the high school gridiron. The holiday shopping season kicked off in style tonight in this community. We'll show you the late start for merchants here. And the George Santos saga is over on Capitol Hill. We'll verify a few leftover questions from his brief but memorable tenure. All tonight on Newswatch 16 at 11. News 116 is sponsored by your local Ford stores. Check out Ford's full lineup and build your new vehicle at buyfordnow.com today. From WNEP, the news station, this is News 116 at 11. Good evening, I'm Lisa Washington. And I'm Scott Schaefer. We begin tonight in Union County, where businesses kept the lights on late, welcoming customers who were looking to get their holiday season started. The downtown tradition looks to bring in shoppers from all over the area. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin shows us why businesses and customers love shopping late in Lewisburg. It's kind of a tradition in this area too, so other local communities do the same thing. Everybody will start coming out and we'll start to hear Christmas music. We might have somebody playing saxophone across the street. Over the last decade, the Lewisburg Downtown Partnership has worked to give businesses a boost and residents a chance to get started on their holiday gift list by having late night shopping. Friday night saw hundreds fill the sidewalks of Market Street in downtown as small boutiques like Wilson Ross extended their hours for those looking to get a deal. It's designer clothing, designer bags, lots of jewelry, a little bit of everything. For Ava Harmon, this will be her first time working the unique event, something she hopes generates more late night business. We're looking to bring in new customers, um, returning customers. We have some discounts on the scars. Um, our new clothing is all 20% off. And we've got a full house. Um, a lot of the community has come downtown, but a lot of like out of towners have come as well. At Elizabeth's Bistro, restaurant manager Kate Rabuck says the late night shopping brings an influx of hungry customers looking to take a break from walking. A lot of really cool downtown uh, shops are open, um, and then there's good food, of course, too. So what's not to love? Shopping, you got to refuel after you shop, right? Restaurants and businesses are not the only ones benefiting from late night shopping. Residents say that it's a great way to start the holiday season. We love seeing everyone here. We love getting to support local businesses. It's just such a fun event for us every year. With his family in tow, Daniel Street says the event offers the perfect opportunity to find the perfect gift for someone like mom. Yeah, we really appreciate the after hours. I work during the day, so it's nice to be able to come and enjoy time with my family. Many businesses plan to extend their hours throughout the rest of the month. They encourage residents and visitors in the area to shop locally. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16, Lewisburg.